Hey everybody, Karen Bryant here, and I am kicking back with, of course, Murad Dwalishvili, who is taking on Henry Cejudo at UFC 298. Murad, it's been way too long since we've seen you fight. How ready are you to just throw down? I miss the fights. Uh, yeah, it's uh, I, my last fight was March, and. Uh, now I'm finally back and I want to be busy and uh, I'm excited to fight Henry Cejudo. Yeah, okay, so let's let's talk about the matchup first and foremost. Obviously, it's a big deal fighting Henry, a former champion and, and everything. Um, you're looking at this thinking you win, you get a title shot, yeah? Yeah, I think it's a... Uh, not think, it's a number one contender fight you know if Henry beats me he will fight for the title and mm -hmm. if I beat Henry I will be 10 fight win streak and uh, I don't see who else should fight for the title and uh, yeah so it's, it's a big fight for sure it is a big fight obviously Henry is very good but you know he retired and came back fought your teammate which we'll get into in a minute but um where obviously he's he's a great wrestler but he has great hands as well at this point in his career where do you think he's the most dangerous i think he hits hard uh, i'm not afraid of his wrestling he has like a good or strong right hand and uh, yeah he throws sometimes knee which he throw against dominic cruz and um yeah he and i think most dangerous he has a lot of experience you know like wrestling wise and also like a uh, lot of lots of fights in ufc and like title fights and the uh, five round fights and he's um yeah he, he has a uh, i think a lot of lots of experience and um yeah, he's a smart man so but uh, just have to use my my skill you know i'm young i'm hungry and uh now it's my time well, you're on an incredible win streak, and obviously we are no we we know that your takedown ability is insane. You hold all these records, and I always laugh because I tell you I remember literally being on the air one day saying, "Marab broke the takedown record." That was formerly set by Marab. <laughs> like it, it was great, and um, yeah. so it feels like you have the ability to neutralize Henry's wrestling, right? I mean, so I feel like you have an advantage that maybe some other people don't yeah i think so but um uh, it's, uh, it's still fight and we will see you know like one little mistake can change everything yeah i believe <clears throat> my wrestling is good and uh, yeah i've been taking people down but uh you know sometimes um it's not necessary you know if i if i'm winning and stand up you know i'm not looking for to take down and uh, mm -hmm. yeah we'll see even if it takes me down it's a fight you know i'm gonna fight even down in the floor you know i'm just it's a um, yeah you know he okay like let's let's put this way he's better wrestler than me you know he's an olympic champion i, I it's right. no <laughs> that's but, fair i mean it's fair yeah he's great yeah, exactly <laughs> but it's a fight and um I'm looking for win the fight, and at the same time, I gotta mix with wrestling and jujitsu and striking. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. We've we've discovered you know how to do all of it. Um, you've beaten a former champion, Jose Aldo, obviously. Um, coming off a win over Jan, who's also a, a former champion. So, um, I'm curious. So, for you, is it? You know, is it a? Having ha the fact that he already fought Aljamain, like that, does that feel? Do you feel like you have a couple of like extra secret, even more insight into that? Uh, before no, but like uh, like a couple of days ago, Aljo, I was talking with Aljo, and he was mentioning, uh, yeah, he, Aljo told me just do you, just mm -hmm. do your thing, and uh, yeah, he's a good wrestler, he's tricky, but you know. You know, just do your 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 best. You know, ju just do your pressure and do your mm -hmm. fight style, and you'll be fine. And you know, it feels good. You know, from like when Aljo, uh, Aljo, it, it means. Um, I mean, I don't know how I should explain. So it's it's of course feels good when if Aljo is com confident about me and he mm -hmm. Aljo believes that I can beat Henry. So 
uh, that was a good good compliment from Aljo but otherwise I still have to go and do my job best you know because uh, yeah uh, yeah Aljo it was close fight everybody's Aljo did beat him but it was close fight Henry did good actually I was surprised how Henry you know he he was looking good and he was mm-hmm. very competitive match you know up until the end uh, and uh, <clears throat> I, I I have big respect for him and uh, I gotta make sure I gotta, I'm gonna do my best and uh, I have to be a winner. So obviously too, not only do you have a great team behind you, but we see obviously with Ilya fighting for the title and everything like Georgia is just on the rise and you guys are killing it. So how good does that feel for you to have the whole entire country behind you and to feel like there's really a lot of momentum for you guys in the UFC? I'm so proud of uh, this moment. Uh, yeah, like everybody doing good and uh, uh, yeah, the, the Georgians always been support me and support the uh, other fighters as well. And we are a small country, but we are we are we 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 supporting each other. And of course, uh, like uh, I mean, we we are. I am I am I am very proud of Ilya, Giga, uh, Kuram, and Roman. And uh, now we have Alex Topuria. He, he is Ilya's brother in UFC. Right. So I'm proud of. My brothers and of course every Georgians are proud and uh, yeah, it's a big big moment for sure and um, I'm just so happy for my friends and um, yeah so it's it's February 17th it's going crazy in my country like so many people <clears throat> coming for the watch this fight they they will be uh, at the fights in Anaheim California mm-hmm. Uh, you guys will see so many flags and so much support for me and for Ilya. This is for sure a historic moment because uh, first Georgian fighting for the belt, and I'm sure, I'm sure he's going to win. Uh, uh, you know, I, I love Alex Wakanowski. He's my favorite fighter, other than my friends. But yeah, okay. <clears throat> I believe Ilya. He's he's young and he's hungry and he's different and. Uh, yeah, I think we will have a first uh, Georgian champion. Ilya has been just special since he arrived. You know, I remember meeting him yeah. on Fight Island and, and, you know, he's so good and he was so confident. And, you know, sometimes when people are that confident, you're like, ah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> And and he just keeps backing it up and everything he says he's going to do, he does. I mean, he's really incredible. Yes. Uh, yes. Like you know, uh, uh, yeah. Exactly. Like you know, before. Uh, so I, before he was fighting UFC, um, I I do know from internet. I don't know him personal, mm-hmm. but after I met him, I training with him, and um, I see, I see, I feel it. The how strong he is, how mm-hmm. smart he is, and. Um, he yeah he's really special guy and that's why I believe you know I believe him and uh, I'm just happy for him you know it's exciting it's going to be a great fight I mean my goodness it's going to be a great yeah. fight um hey so uh a couple of things I want to ask you about um do you still have the jacket that you that you stole? <laughs> um I do I do have a, I I do have a red jacket. So yeah, you know that video you t- you took it for me. That was uh, that that video go viral, right? Yeah, it's, it's literally, literally one of my favorite moments in recent, like in the last I don't know five something years. The, the, <laughs> the, the like the joy that you have on your face when you're taking it and everything, and like nobody notices. It's so funny, and it's so, yeah. like it's literally one of my favorite moments. And I don't know how long. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, that was so organic. Like I was walking in, and you just you was calling me. I'm like, like I don't even know if it was door upstairs. If people yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, some who, and then I, I finally said. <laughs> <laughs> so great, yeah, and so you're funny. and you had your cast and everything. So I, that must yeah. have been really annoying, huh? For for you to have that injury, you that was that took, oh, I feel like yeah. that took forever to heal up. 
Yeah, yeah, it did take a long time, but thank God, I, I almost forgot now, you know, I'm, I feel good now, as yeah. long as I wrap good my hand, I can punch and I can grab and I can do my thing and now this, for this fight, I'm healthy, nice. I feel great and I'm very confident and yeah, I don't have any, any, any big or any serious injury, uh, so, and then, so it's like 10 days left only and uh, it's uh, crazy. It's exciting. It's exciting. And hopefully there's been no more um, thieves at your house. Have you been locking your doors at night? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm locking doors. I'm telling for this. <laughs> yeah. I saw that video. For those who don't know, you posted a video where you had like your ring doorbell, right? And you saw some people stealing stuff out of your car. Yeah, it's crazy because uh, I have a big house in Las Vegas and... Um, here I'm not renting rooms. Just whoever fighters coming for camp or like some fighters, uh, or like my close friends, they are staying with me, and uh, we are all fighters. And I was joking, who's gonna come here? And uh, I wasn't, I wasn't lacking my my car because I'm I'm like I'm a gangster. Why yeah. I need to lie? <laughs> Actually, you know, my 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 town is really really good town. Um, yeah. I, me and Aljo, we are neighbors. You know. Nice. And, uh, Yes, and then it's like really like no no homeless people around like close here, no no bus and like it's like and it's it's not like it's a good town and I was very confident, you know, but yeah. I guess some stupid young guys walk around and they were checking every car and my car was open, they take wallet from my car and yeah. yeah, actually, you know what? You know what was funny? Like Roman visited me. It was Sunday morning, and yeah, I was I was sleeping a little bit, like more late, and I wasn't. I don't have to wake up that early. Yeah, and uh, because and uh, Roman like he's knocking my door and he's calling me, Rob, somebody open your car. I'm like, wow, no, <laughs> no. Yeah. And then I wake. I I knew that I left my wallet, and it was. Oh. Like, Cash and driver license, and all the bank cards, and uh, not not many jewelry, but some stupid things that they they take from my car. It's annoying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so frustrating, though. Yeah. Oh my god! And it's such a pain in the butt to like re get do yeah. all that stuff over and everything. Oh no! Yeah, I'm yeah. Sorry. So, I have everything now. No problem. I have. Huh? Driver, new, I have new driver license. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, that's what you get for getting a little cocky, though, right? Now you know. Now I know. Yeah, exactly. It's um, yeah. It's a buy, and then I also it's a good lessons for other people. I think they should like the car. It's easy. That's very because true. The, but reason I was leaving my cars open, so I I, I even put a window down uh, because uh, I yeah I I left my shin guards in the car like back. Oh. Back truck in the truck and then it's it's Vegas it's never rain and it's a fresh and you know it's like uh, the air goes in and out and I don't yeah. have to take it out I'm a little bit lazy you know like <laughs> and I, I don't I don't want to get um uh the, I want to the my shingles get dry you know and yeah so, and then and and the wallet because I left wallet because it's easy you know sometimes I uh, not sometimes you know I uh, I changed my pants and my yep. jacket, and uh, you know every time you know it's uh, right. But if it's just sitting in there, it's easy. You know it's there. Yeah, exactly. But you gotta air, like you gotta for real air out the shin guards and the gear, Marab. Like Trust outside me, of the car, you my, can't my... just air it out in the car and think that's good enough. That's nasty. Believe it or not, uh, my my gear never smells. You know, like, really? uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I wash also sometimes once in a while, okay. but. Yeah, I live. Trust me, I live open like this, yeah. and the windows down, and uh, uh, it's that's it. It drives. Okay, okay, okay. And I do have to ask because you're totally killing it with your social media. You have some hilarious, some hilarious posts lately. So whatever you're doing, whoever like is doing like the purple belt and. Uh, <laughs> Just uh, what what was there? Was another one that was just uh, just so funny. Like you're just they're great. Yeah, breakdown, <laughs> breakdown. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's I, great. I love it. Yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. I, I like to have a positive. I like to have a fun. You know, I like jokes and uh, yeah, and um, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Like, it's know, a good time. I, hey, just you. don't. Did you did you really though? Did you really? 
not know the lake was frozen that time though when you took of a header of course like i'm not stupid i may be crazy but i'm not stupid you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah let me if you want i will tell the story again so what happened was in new york uh, so like 2000 it was i don't know 2021 i think and then it was big snow and then yeah. the road like the gym was closed because hey don't come gym make sure don't get any accidents and then I need to training right every day, and uh, and I was running outside every day, and um, I run one day, two day, and the third day I decide to uh, just uh, just go in cold water to like just ten seconds after right. after run, and I was sweating and I was so hot and everything, and uh, but I'm like. Oh, I should set up my camera and I, I will just post 10, 10, 10 second story in my Instagram. Yeah. Right? And then I, I I turn on the camera, I set up and I just take my clothes off. And, yeah. But, you know, I reason I why I jump in the water because it was, uh, okay, when I see the water, it looks like a, a melted snow on top. But it okay, was, yeah. I, guess, I guess it was uh, ice. And then snow and ice and it looks like uh, melted, but it was prison, you know. I don't know. And, uh, so and uh, so I don't want to just oh check the temperature. Oh, it's cold, and I don't want to be like oh like I can't or something. <laughs> you know, I just I, every time I just dive in the water, you know. Right. That's how I go in the water, and uh, that's what I did. I just jump, and as soon as I break the ice with my head, then I realize. What like I'm so stupid, but and then I, I feel the pain a little bit, and I touch my head, and I felt the skin was coming off on from all my head, and I'm like so stupid. As you can tell, you can hear in video, I'm talking like, why I do this? I'm so stupid. Like I should check, you know. But I guess uh, next time I will know. Now you know, right? Exactly. Now you know. Um. Hey, it made for a hell of a video. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And, and you healed up okay, right? Yeah, um, I got uh, 17 stitches. Oh, yeah, and um, uh, and um, glue. Uh, actually, in my country, every TV show, the UFC fighter Mirab break his head, he jumped to the... Oh, no, I went... Yeah. Yeah, they they actually show some other European countries TV also. Like it was big deal. I'm like, sorry to laugh, but that's yeah, no, 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 no actually, like uh, yeah, like on everybody... America's Funniest Home Videos, like on that, like on like Biggest Fails and stuff like that. I don't know, but like in like in, like next after after I post this video, I, after like three or four months, everybody yeah. was like, hey, Mara, how is your head? You know? <laughs> nobody nobody was asking me when you fight, how is your weight? You know, how you doing? I'm sorry. I'm head? sorry. It's so funny to me. I'm yeah, sorry. It's yeah, it's funny. Of course. I, <laughs> hey, so, okay, you know what happened? So, okay, of course, I, I realized that as soon as I break the ice, it's so stupid, right? And uh, I should check. I should know, right? But I somehow, it's, uh, I, I, I did mistake. And, um, now, like, <laughs> I can't run home back because my head is cut off all over the place. And yeah. I put some my T-shirts on my head and uh, I'm just walking to home and I have like three miles until to my... Yeah, it's, I, I run far and... Oh, uh, right, so now you're running back home. Oh, my God. Yeah, I can't run because my head is cut. Your you know, I, you know, yeah, and then... And now I have to go hospital and I, sh yeah. I even, like, I was worried about not training three days. That's why I was running and doing my thing. And now I have to take maybe five days off until my stitches heal up, right? right. And I'm like, worry all these things. And, um, oh, and then I'm like, oh, I have a video. Let me, let me look. And I look, <laughs> I'm like, oh, <laughs> I left myself. It's so stupid, right? But I'm like... I'm thinking now. I have a video that I, what I did, and if I post this, everybody will say stupid. If I don't post this, nobody will know. But I'm like, I'm not hiding nothing in my life. This is who I am. This is my life. You know. Let me post it. As soon as I post it, I got ten thousand followers. Like, 
that time, 10,000 followers, it was a big deal for me. <laughs> no, exactly. You yeah, kept it real. Things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and oh. and like I can tell you, in my country, and uh, uh, in uh, a neighbor's country, uh, it, it was a big deal. They showed TV. And then let me tell you one more funny thing about this. So, so <clears throat> yeah, you know, Liana Giorgio, former UFC fighter, right? Mm -hmm. Liana Giorgio from Georgia. Yeah. Yeah, she, she that time... Uh, like a week later, she was uh, coming to uh, U.S. first uh -huh. time, and uh, she was going to stay in my house and uh, do training camp here in New York and Las yeah. Vegas. And uh, so, and then, you know, uh, she tell parents, hey, I'm, I'm going to stay with Mirab. You know, as you know, he's a very smart guy. You know, he's a good guy, very respectful guy, <laughs> you know, very smart. And then, and then Liana told me like day before I have to fly right. and I'm, I'm looking my Instagram and I saw this stupid video and with my mom and then we both cried and then she, the, her mom like she said my mom told me this this is I don't think he's a smart guy <laughs> <laughs> so I said oh you think oh. he's really smart I don't think my mom is that smart <laughs> So yeah, I don't know. If you know it's, oh my god! Yeah, oh my yeah, god. yeah. But no, Liana still risk, and she came. You know, she came. She came. She came. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god! I'm so glad. I'm so glad you posted it, and the story behind it is even better because it's so funny. But I was gonna say, like, that's the thing is you've always just been like just a hundred percent yourself, and that's what's so endearing. You know what I mean? Like it, it, you are who you are and you don't pretend to be some other guy. You don't like talk tough. You know, you just, you're just you. And uh, I really appreciate it. Oh, Thank God. you. And let me tell you another oh, little God, story about so this. I think it's funny. So you know what I did next day? Huh. I got my head headgear and yeah. I go, I go to the lake. I got my gloves and I, I did my rematch. I break all the ice. With <laughs> I, I, I posted actually that time. I know you. A rematch. It, yeah, yeah. Oh my like, god! Yeah. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> yeah. So. That's good stuff. Oh my god! Well, look at yeah. Keep it up. Um, all of that stuff is hilarious. But the funny thing is, is when you're serious, when you're really doing your thing, you are. Uh, you are the machine. And you are just such a fun fighter to watch uh, in and out of the octagon. But uh, listen, I just really looking forward to seeing you fight against Henry Cejudo. Like, that's a massive fight. Like, dude, that's, a, that's awesome, right? Like, you have to be, you always get excited and you always get fired up. And like I said, you fought guys like Jose and, and Fyodor that, like, former champs themselves. But, but you got to be fired up extra when you get a guy like Cejudo, right? When you're like, oh, wait, Olympian champion all of this it has to mean a little bit more when you're running to the gym yeah for sure yes um yeah i agree uh yeah it's 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 a big challenge for me and uh, i love challenges and uh, i think uh i i was supposed to be next for the title mm -hmm. shot title fight but yeah i guess um uh, yeah you know, like Mike, I, I break down fights. That's how it's going. Like, you know, yeah. everybody wants to rematch. So, but yeah, I have another challenge. Um, and big challenge, Henry Serhudo. So, and uh, yeah, winner of us will get title shot. And But I got to make sure I'll be the guy that who will get win that day and who will get the, who will be next challenger for the title. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for future. Very nice. And I should ask, who do you think you would be fighting? Uh, would you be fighting Cheeto or would you be fighting Sean? Whoever, I will, I will, I will like beat them both together actually. But um, I hope O'Malley wins, you know, okay. uh, because, uh, you know, uh, he, he, yeah, I, I want to fight him like since 2018, since I win my first fight in UFC. Yeah. Not because of I think like oh he's easy or something like this or something, but I think he's a it's gonna be good fight. He's really good, talented, you know, um, and he's good fighter. And I like to challenge, and uh, that's why I want to fight him, you know. <laughs> and but if Chito wins, then yeah, I guess 
I will fight him next, but I still have to win my fight first, and I will yes. talk about it. Nice. Well, everybody can look forward to seeing that fight. We know it's going to be excellent. UFC 298, February 17th. Marav Dwalashvili up against Henry Cejudo. Um, so great catching up with you. It's been a minute and uh, always just great. I'm so glad you could kick back with me today, Marav. Um, thank you for telling me. Oh, my God, the backstories behind those videos. And um, just best of luck to you in your fight. Thank you so much, Carlin, for having me. And, um, yeah, okay, have a good night and uh, God bless. See you soon. See you, see you later.